Hi everyone, it's Helen here from Bodywork Pilates and this is the first in a series of my top 10 moves. Now, I've had a really hard time putting together 10 moves and it's entirely possible that I might change my mind as I go on. But it's a bit of a standing joke with my clients that in almost every single class, at some point I go, we're going to do so-and-so. I love this move, it's one of my favourites. And But when it came to actually trying to condense them down, oh, it's such a hard time. So my favourites change really, and maybe they do for you, depending on what I need on any one day. So what might be my favourite move one day may not necessarily be my favourite move the next day because I don't need what that move gave me the next day, if you see what I mean. So, but these, I've tried to think about the movements that I consistently say, I love this movement, it's one of my favourites. And we're going to start with one of my absolute favourites, which is a movement called pullover. And we actually do this with weights, okay? And the weights don't have to be hefty, uh, but they should challenge you, all right? So you're going to very carefully bring yourself down to lying. And you're going to just place yourself into your usual setup position. So we're looking for that openness across the upper back and the chest and the shoulders. We're looking for that openness through the front and the back edge of the body. The feet and the knees about hip distance apart. Feeling the balance of the back of the pelvis and finding the curvature of the spine. Now we don't really talk about neutral now um, because it's not that simple. But uh, if you come to classes, you know I'll talk about that more. The arms just rest on at the side of you, but you want to take hold of your weights now. The first thing I'm going to say to you is that if when you lift your weights up, it feels like they're in the wrong position, then bring them down in order to adjust your hand grip or whatever it is. Never try to adjust your hand grip when the weights are above your face or above your chest. That's just going to be disastrous. And I'm actually just going to move forward a little bit because I'm feeling I might hit my tower. All right, so the back of the neck is long, my gaze is up and slightly forward. So I'm going to take my weights above my chest and I'm going to keep my shoulders open and the shoulder blades just naturally, with the help of the weights, just dropping back into the floor. Now what we want to do from here is to maintain that distance between our bony landmarks. So we don't want to feel that we're lifting and overarching through the back. We don't want to feel that our ribs are being affected. But we're going to allow the arms to move back. We're not necessarily trying to touch the floor. We're going to bring the arms back up. We're going to bring the arms down to the side of the body as if to just brush the weights onto the floor and then lift them back up and take them back. So this is an absolutely fantastic movement for working into the shoulders, the chest and the upper back. And of course, you'll get a little bit of tricep work going on as well, the backs of those arms. But I want you to be really careful when you take those arms back to keep those ribs softened. Of course, we're still breathing into the fullness of the rib cage to the upper back. I tend to breathe out as I take my arms back, still breathing out until the arms come up. And then for me, it's a little easier when I take my arms down to the side of the body. It may be completely different to you. So just keep that smooth and even breath. Opening up through the underarms, finding that bit of strength and movement around the shoulders keeping everything else perfectly still, just working within that shoulder area. And just do this one more time. So remember, you don't need to take the arms back, but it is better to take the arms back straight, although less far than to take the arms further, but then start to bend the elbows. So keep the arms straight and take the arms back to the point that you can control and then finally bring the arms all the way back down to the side of the body, release the weights, just give those hands a little bit of a wriggle out, make sure your shoulders feel okay, just allow your head to roll from one side to the other, make sure you feel okay, and then perhaps allow your knees to roll as well, and then when you're ready, roll completely over to the side, push through the hands, and come up to seated. So there you go, with your hand weights, with something that's going to challenge you. I've spoken about this before. If you can get something more than a bottle of water or a tin of baked beans, which quite frankly is in not enough for most of you, then try and find, beg, steal, borrow your weights. Try and find a, a variety of different weights and, um, and give that a go, see what you think. But it is fantastic for strength around the upper body. Great for the mobility within the shoulders, 
Be careful of your ranges, but apart from that, give it a little go and let me know what you think. As I say, one of my consistently favourite movements. All right, I will speak to you soon. Take care.